Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. This one is a war recap between champs only and UEG Warrior 2. We used all of our attacks, had two lost attacks, one of them was my mini and it was kind of a troll attack-ish. I am a new Town Hall 9 and I attack the Town Hall 11. Yeah, not a good idea. But anyway, let's look at the most heroic attacks starting with their one against me. Now this guy is using a very weird army, it's a bowler funnel with P.E.K.K.A and Wizard. It's a very interesting army, he doesn't have his queen, that right there is a problem. Uh, so he uses his bowlers to funnel and then he just kind of throws everything down, he's got a level 2 wall wrecker. Um, he did attack my base, this particular base, from the side that you really shouldn't attack from. You should attack more from the western side, mainly because there's so much firepower here. I have a little Tesla farm sitting in there. He has some... He has all his wizards in there. He used his warden's ability pretty good, but sadly it resulted in a lot of his stuff dying. He still has two P.E.K.K.A.s alive, but the Inferno is just gonna melt them down. For some reason he drops a jump spell here. I don't know if he expected that P.E.K.K.A. to pull towards the wizard tower in Inferno. I... He could have just been throwing his spells, I don't know. But all he has left is his level 51 king up there. He's gonna get destroyed with all those defenses. He has some bowlers down here that is being splashed with that wizard tower and picked off by that expo. And overall, he won. He got a two star, but a lot of things I don't understand. Mainly, where's his queen? But that will wrap up this attack with this eagle one shotting, one shotting that bowler. All right, overall a good attack, but a lot of problems. Let's look at the most heroic attack on our side, which was me, mainly just because Supercell decided number two was my recommended target, so of course me attacking one was awesome, I guess. So my plan for this army, or this attack, was I would throw in the Giants here to tank for the bowlers, which is something I haven't always done. Usually I just put two healers right on the bowlers, because they can usually sustain themselves unless there's way too much firepower. Now, I also usually put my bowlers in a way that they will destroy the defenses, like I would have put them so that they'd hit this archer tower and then this wizard tower, but I was going for three, so I wanted to make sure I got those uh, buildings out there. So that's my upper funnel, and here's my lower funnel, my queen. My goal was to at least get to that warden, which she does eventually do. No okay, so notice I dropped the rage. I did not drop the rage because she's dying or because I wanted her to go fast with destroying things. I did it so that... I can throw a one wall breaker in to destroy this wall, although I dropped two just to be safe. Uh, right there. A rage, raged wall breakers are actually really good. Anyway, there goes my wall wrecker with some remaining wall breakers that just get wasted. Now, I messed up the attack. I should have put those giants in front of the wall wrecker so that, that single inferno would have hit the giants instead, because then my wall wrecker would have gotten all the way through and I dropped my jump there. I could have dropped my jump up by that air defense. Uh, another problem with this attack is my queen's down here and I don't have any other air defense in here to eliminate those dragons. I do use my warden's ability to prevent things from my bowlers and giants and basically everything from dying from that town hall explosion because it does a thousand damage which will I think straight up destroy bowlers and will do quite a number on everything else. But overall not a bad attack other than the fact that those dragons kind of destroy my bowlers. It probably would have been a three star had I had my queen with my main force which I don't know how would have happened because I used my queen to funnel. I could have used some bowlers to funnel, but I would like to practice that strategy before I do that. Overall, it was a very close, close to a 3 star, sadly the healers went off to those giants, delivered themselves right to the dragons, my queen starts targeting the dragons, I probably could have killed the dragons without my queen's ability, but I got a little nervous, wanted to make sure that they were dead. I thought this was going to be a 3 star considering I still had the golem and giants alive, but those are max defenses, so they do quite a bit. And for some reason, with my queen standing here, that was the next closest building, and not this or this. She's a queen. You never know what she's going to do. Yeah, and she kind of puts herself right into the line of fire of those defenses, but she does take them out. And overall, it ends at a 91%. If only I could have saved a bowler or, some, or two just to maybe clear up some other buildings down here. Or, I could have even used some bowlers and put them outside this elixir storage to take out this archer tower. But she would have died there anyway. Pretty good attack. 
now let's watch some other attacks. We have our leader JP with one of his many accounts going in on here. This is his highest account. It is a Town Hall 12. He uses a sort of hybrid attack where he uses his golem, witches, and bowlers on one side and hogs to clean up some of the defenses. Anyway, he's starting with a queen walk up here. He does throw his warden in in a second. There it is. And he does also throw a baby dragon up top to control where the queen goes, I think. The other thing he could have been doing that for was just extra, extra damage, extra percentage. So he takes down the enemy queen fairly easily since it's queen walk 53 king, queen against a 30 queen. Uh, unfortunately, his baby dragon does not target that archer tower. I don't think it would have killed it anyway, but it would have been pretty nice because it would have gotten a lot more percentage. And then eventually he, I think he drops his golem down here. And then he backs it up with some witches and bowlers, since he already got a really good funnel there. Now you're going to notice what he's going to do is he's going to drop his wall record to head for these walls, because he funneled this side, so you know nothing's going over there. But there's no funnel here, hence the wizard and some bowlers. He wants to make sure his troops head into the base and not around. His wall record goes in, unfortunately he put it right on that line of wall, so it kind of delayed it a little bit. Really good poison. Uh, his queen did head right into the base with the full force of the army so he did deal with that air defense uh, clan castle very, fairly easily he drops a good jump because his record will get him into the town hall but nowhere else so he throws the jump on that inferno tower to get into the other compartments he throws his warden's ability down to shield from all the firepower since he's right in the core of the base he throw okay there goes his hog riders on the side to clear up some defenses they will move through the rest of the base and the rest of this attack is mainly cleanup because he does have a heal spell which he's going to throw right there because his hogs are right in the heat of all the fire. Make sure that they survive long enough to destroy everything. He still has both of his heroes abilities so this really was an overkill attack which, which should be the case considering he's a Town Hall 12 with pretty good troops against uh, a Town Hall 11. Any Town Hall above another one should be able to a town hall should be able to three star the town hall level below them. That's the way the game has always been and should be. That hog riders go into town on that king. And the attack ends in a three star JP total destruction. Well done, man. Okay, I wanted to watch this attack done by our seven Shrihari against their eight. They are both Town Hall 10s, and it, I like this attack because this base is a very unconventional base. It's it's an anti-3 of sorts. It's not really an anti-3 because the town hall is more centralized. But with the way the walls are, it's designed to try to lead you astray from the town hall. Anyway, he's using golem, witches, and bowlers. He just kind of put a golem on each side and spread out his troops, trying to add that percentage and funnel for his main force, which is the wall wrecker, heroes, and bowlers, along with some witches. Here comes a clan castle. Uh, poison was really good. I believe he's going to drop the jump somewhere around this inferno tower since that wrecker will indeed make it to that town hall. Uh, max wrecker will only take two hits to get through a level 10 and 11 walls. Level 12 and 13 it takes three hits. I believe maybe 12 it takes two hits. But anyway, like I said, he dropped the jump right there. That's Well, I kind of figured it would be more around here, but that's actually even better where he put it. Anyway, he's still got some bowl he's got a bowler and witch on the side to get some extra percentage. The golem is kind of falling behind back there. He's got his king in there, he's about to go down. He still has his queen's ability who cannot decide which wall to attack. He, lucky for him, the bowlers get the golem gets in front of the bowlers, even though all it is is a wizard tower, so he would have destroyed it anyway. And the rest of this attack is just clean up. He took out all the core defenses. And they just got to circle the base. He's got a bunch of bowlers still alive with, some, with a golem tanking, so that's ideal. Still has his queen's ability. I assume he activates it here soon, just, you know, because why not? Oh, no. Always activate your hero's abilities, because at the very least it heals him. Yep, he did. Okay. Overall, it was a good war. We, even if they would have tied up in stars, we probably would have won on percentage, because I did get a 91% on their one. So it eventually would have come down a percentage, which we did have. And that will pretty much wrap up this war recap. I plan on maybe doing more re war recaps. It depends on what my schedule is. I'll be heading back to school soon. But I hope you enjoyed. 
I probably should spend more time on these videos, like rehearsing more. You can probably tell I didn't rehearse for this video. But I enjoyed doing it, and if you have any questions or comments, anything you want to say to me, there's a comment section for that. And if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, there will be more Clash of Clans in the future, whether it be in videos like this or streams. Hope to see you guys there. Goodbye.